Hello everybody, it's Saturday! Saturday is our first weekend in Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2005. And what are we going to do with our first weekend? We are going to challenge dog. Grrr. <laughs> We're going to see if we can beat a dog in Duel Monsters. Wish me luck. I can beat a dog at Rock, Paper, Scissors, so that's pretty lucky. Um, I'm going to do my absolute best with our improved deck, thanks to all the new cards we've been getting. Overall, this opening hand has no spells or traps, so that could be bad, but let's see if we get a better monster. Okay, well that's my boy, but my boy's got no protection, so we're going to start Sangan in order to get our best monsters. Let's see how our opponent reacts. That's a great card! Oh my god, this dog is for real! That is not fair. 2700 attack and does piercing on the opening turn. Alright, who do I have that can stop this? Mm -hmm. Blast Sphere. Oh, but then I don't get to pick. Penguin Soldier's safer. Gravekeeper's Guard is even safer than that. Ooh, this is tough. Let's go with Gravekeeper's... Yeah, but Penguin Soldier can hit both if he summons two. But that's a lot of piercing. No, I can take it. It's still early. I know we took a lot of damage, but it's, it's fine. I need to beat that creature. Oh, well, I also could do that and save my card. Yeah, that is true. I did already take a lot of damage, so I think I will Dark Hole. I'll still have a Penguin Soldier for emergencies. They can't Axe of Despair. Um, and I can go for, I would say, a Seven-Colored Fish. It's my best beater at this current moment, and it can do a lot of damage right back to my opponent. Having an Axe of Despair in this game is really busted. So my opponent getting that on a piercing monster? Absolutely cruel. Grace of Charity, busted card for this pupper. Gaia Power, shit, I'm using a fish. Oh, he weakened his own defense, good news. Alright, so this is dangerous because if he gets any beast mo or earth monster, we're in trouble. But he did buff up Dream Clown. Ooh, we could use Dream Clown. So because he played a monster face down despite Gaia Power, I'm going to assume it's Penguin Soldier or something dumb like that. Hey, hey, well, I wasn't completely incorrect. It was something like that, and because of that, I can't attack directly. But Dream Clown is going to put my opponent in a bit of a pickle. They cannot play defensively against me, although Dream Clown's not very powerful. Ha! They played defensively, we got him. This is the power of the clown, everybody. I'm literally holding the X button, it was not, it is not stopping this. Oh my god. I have to keep pressing it. Alright, well, the next best card I could summon is Gear Freed. So I'm going to summon Gear Freed the Iron Knight. And then we're going to get rid of his flip effect monster with the power of dreams. Dream Clown, my ace card, is going to pop that face down. Which card did we stop? Oh my god, that was such a good hit. Dream Clown, you are my hero. You are legitimately my hero. Please stop trying to activate reinforcements game. I'm holding X. I'm begging you to leave me alone begging you to leave me alone but it's okay we can live with it dream clown is going to help us win this fight i did not want to go to main phase two i don't exactly have a trap card and my opponent has not drawn an earth monster to take advantage of gaia power we're in a really good spot right now well i take it back we're about to take insane piercing the good news is we will be able to defeat the enraged battle Ox, which in this game enraged battle Ox is a legitimately good card it kind of sucks that we're running into it right now. But if anyone would have it, why not the dog? The dog should have Beast Beast Warrior cards. Alright, let's see if I can't draw something good. Reflect Bounder is really good, but I can't confirm if it's going to help me win this duel right now. I think 23, 27. I cannot win the duel right now. So let's use Reflect Bounder, because it's a really rare card we were lucky enough to pull. And let's use it to destroy the opponent. Nope. We will save reinforcement because I want to hurt my opponent even more badly than this. And now that I have Reflect Bounder, they're forced to play defensively. And they've already lost two Flip Effect monsters, so I don't believe they'll have any good defensive cards. Which means we can use their own Gaia power against them. I think we are completely outplaying our opponent right now. Despite a really strong beginning from them. That Axe of Despair was a threat. Alright, so let's see what you got, sir. I'm already set up for this fight. 
It's all up to you. I was right. I forced them into defense mode. A trap! That was not something I accounted for. But what are the odds they got something like TT? Because that's like the only way they'd win this. I could simply not summon a monster and probably still win the duel. But... Yeah, no, we could probably do that. Yeah, let's not summon a monster and try to win the duel. Just because we don't want to get uh, screwed over by a TT when we have game. I've seen it happen to Kaiba at freaking Battle City. Not, not the show, but our Battle City on the channel. Yep, we force them into defense mode despite their field spell. Love it. And then we win the duel with Gearfreed the Iron Knight. The perfect setup has been made. I should have used Joe reinforcements, but I was holding back because of the AI. We didn't know if they were going to use that trap card or not. And I wanted to wait until the last moment. It was my bad, though. I forgot that you can't do it on the damage step when attacking directly with uh, your monster. In this game, at least. Wine, wine. I'm sorry, pupper. Thanks for the money, though. You're a good dog. Only good dogs give out money. Hello, Coliseum. Is nobody here today? Is it? Is it? I'm in the entrance of the Coliseum. I am now in the Coliseum, but no one seems to be here. I'm in the Coliseum now. Hey, Yugi, where is everybody? What, is it not open today? Do I have to go to the Capricorp Tower? Is Saturday everyone's day off? Oh, that's a shame. What about in here? Oh, this arena looks cool. I like this one. The Coliseum looked fine, but this one looks good. Alright, well, if that is the case, then we'll make it interesting on this day. Because we are going to take on Yugi Mudo. Let's start. I'm really cur curious to learn what type of deck you have. Uh, it's a mishmash deck. I'm doing my best to make something out of it. Oh, shit. Yep, can't beat him. at. He's the king of games. Can't beat him at any game. Not even rock, paper, scissors. He knows what he's doing, folks. Spear Dragon's really good, but again, I'm not drawing any of my spells and traps. That's a little risky. Swords are revealing lights. Okay, and a set card. That's unlucky as hell. Hysteric Fairy, Spirit of the Heart Goblin, Attack Force, Dream Clown. It's just a bad setup for me. The fact that he started Swords is super strong. He could have a flip effect monster right now, and he has full advantage over this duel. Okay, that's a little weird that he's not trying to go aggressive when he's the one that has the trap that will make him, you know, have advantage. I don't really have a play right now. I guess I could throw away his Stair Fairy to see if he wants to, to defeat it. Maybe he'll go for a Tribute Summon. The problem is I really don't have a Flip Effect monster with a good effect right now. He has another Trap card. Oh boy, I'm going to need something good. Rigorous Lever could be very good, especially as a Flip Effect monster, just to get rid of my opponent's hand. Okay, we got rid of swords, but we're in a bad spot. He never tributed, but I can assume that some of these guys are going to be flip effects. I did get you. Okay, let's see if we can bait out our opponent's uh, trap card. We're going to use Rigorous Lever. We did bait it out. All right, trap hole. We still get our effect off, I believe. Which means we're going to discard out of all of these cards, Sacred Crane for sure. And no way! He's got the legendary Blackluster Soldier. That card's so rare. Dude, Yugi, you're so interesting. All right, we're going to try out our Spear Dragon. And we're going to let Spear Dragon handle the defense monsters, assuming that uh, they have flip effects. I was right. What spell card did he... Oh, swords. No! No! Don't get it back! Oh, you're the worst human being ever, Yug. Don't make me wait three more. That's six full turns. More like 12. Just of me doing nothing because you have this card. I have D-Spell. Oh my god, Witch of Black Forest. I have D-Spell. I just don't uh, seem to draw it in any of the duels I've run. Okay, Witch is going to destroy Spear Dragon. Axe. Whoa, it could destroy a lot of things. All right, I'm going to lose Hysteric Fairy, but as long as he doesn't play Swords, we actually are fine. Dude, he didn't play Swords. He thought he would have advantage. Oh, we are in a good spot right now. We summon Goblin Attack Force, and Goblin Attack Force is perfect for this situation because he thinks he's so strong. And now he's going to lose the Axe of Despair forever. And we're going to make him want to attack us without playing Swords because we're going to have two monsters with zero defense on the field. And they'll both be in defense mode. So maybe we can outplay Yugi's AI. That's Summon Skull. That's the best card in the game. 
Okay, Summon Skull and Jinzo. Those are probably the best cards in this game right now. And we are going to need to do our best to overcome them. If he somehow pulls it off. Yeah, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. He's got... He's... Oh my god. Dude? Thank god your hand's a brick, but this is really bad. This could not be getting any worse than it already is. Oh man, how do I want to play this? You know what I can do, guys? I can summon my Dream Clown. And then after summoning my Dream Clown, something else we could do is we could get our Malevolent Nuzzle. And we're going to do this to stop them from having a tribute on their turn. I think this is a worthy play. Magic Jammer is a problem for this play, but it is nece a necessity that we can make this play. Now, of course, since he just probably threw away Summon Skull, he might be able to simply revive it. If that were to happen, we would be in trouble. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of all that fun stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, just chill. I wish I was going to try and attack him directly, but I really couldn't. Because Swords is a jerk move, and having six turns of it is cruel. Alright, just in case he didn't throw away Summon Skull, we set up for this. We literally set up for this, thanks to our Dream Clown. I wonder what card we're going to hit. I hope it's a good card. I hope we hit a good one. Alright, what did we hit? That is a good card. And they already used uh, Axe of Despair, but it is still a good card to hit. That's a Taya card. No freaking way! We got rid of Black Luster Soldier, and this man, this absolute beast of a man, got himself a Magician of Black Chaos. That's so cool. I'm not even mad. That's just cool. I'm a little upset that we're still dealing with the freaking uh, spell card, but... <sighs> Dark Magic Ritual, he got us. He got us. He got rid of his other card for it. That is impressive. Um... Honestly, I don't even want to see it get started. We're going to flip Gravekeeper's guard early. Normally, I would just set it, let it chill, but no, nah, we're going to we're gonna do it early. I don't think he has another spell card and enough monsters to tribute. And I'm going to play Darkfire Soldier with no fear in my heart. All right, that is six turns of swords gone. You absolute bitch. My malevolent... No you absolute cheater. My malevolent nuzzler was lost, and now you have a brand new trap that scares me. Honestly, I don't even think I want to summon this turn. I could go Jirai Gumo. You know what? It is for game. I go for game. Okay, I'm going for game. Yugi, do not have the heart of the cards on your side. I attack. Okay, there's a chance. Bravekeeper's guard, come on. Jirai Gumo, this is for game. Don't fail me now. I'll go heads. Okay, pretty good. We beat Yugi Mudo. Holy crap, that deck is pretty good, Yugi. I gotta give you more credit. You know how to duel. We managed to get some cash from this. That is the good news. I could really use some good news, and there it is. And now... I lost. Pharaoh, I'm sorry I let you down. Oh my god, he's crying. It's okay. It's just a duel, dude. It's not like the end of the world. You're fine. You're actually a damn good duelist, and you should really, really, you know, feel better about yourself. You're doing good. You're doing good, kid. Uh, hi, Grandma. Are you the Dark Magician lady? Yeah, you're Dark Magician woman, aren't you? And you two, who are you, Poindexter? Oh, you're the job guy? Oh, your dad got you a starter deck? That's awesome. Let's see what you can do with that starter deck. Crap. You can go first. You bastards. Sorry, I know you're like five. My bad. <laughs> you little bastard. <sighs> well, I have a decent hand, actually, so I'm okay with this. And the opponent did not start swords like Yugi did, so... We're in a pretty okay spot. Gemini Elf is an insanely strong start. And I think I'm willing to go for it. Uh, I think we're going to be fine. You know what? It was worth it. TT. Oh, no. What? We didn't hit anything good, did we? Well, it was an okay monster, but we lost the better monster in the end. So, good on my opponent. Hero of the East. Yeah, we definitely hit the... That TT hit the better monster. You probably should have played Hero of the East instead. 
still, it sucks that I lost my card over this. This starter deck girl is going to be pretty problematic. Let's see if I can't draw something a little better. Dark Hole is a lot better. It's one of the best cards in the game. But as of this moment, Jirai Gumo is our only option, which is embarrassing. The fact that this is the only card I have in my hand that can beat Hero of the East by battle without dying itself is crazy. Jirai Gumo, go. I trust in you. I know you'd never screw me. Ah, shit. Well, that's a lot of damage, but I'm sure this girl doesn't run any burn and will not take advantage of this. Or have insanely busted cards like Brain Control or Snatch Steel or anything like that. Maybe that stuff's banned anyway. Alright, I'm holding on to just desserts just in case something happens to me and they get multiple monsters on the field. And I could just use it at the last second if I really wanted to. Um, let's see what we get. Harpy's brother. Now we can bring the pain to her. Okay, despite our life points, you know, being lost, we can at least start hitting her. So, it's safer to go Jirai Gumo, but I need to make up for some of the damage I've taken, so I'm going to let Jirai Gumo attack directly. I think Harpy's Bar could beat most things. <laughs> Especially Boneheimer. Get out of here. Boneheimer is not on my list of fears. I'll tell you that for free. Heads this time. We're, we're going to need to make up for that. Damn, one magic cylinder ends this duel. Because of all the burn we've done to ourselves with Jirai Gumo. Yeah, okay, little girl, please don't be hurt or hurtful. So far, we're going to be okay. How do I want to do this? Baby dragon. Interesting. So, if I were to go in with you 2 that's 4,000 damage, 45. We can't win the duel anyway. So, since we can't win the duel anyway, set up Great Keeper's Guard. And then let's just go for a base amount of damage. We don't need that much damage, just a small amount of damage. 1800 will do the job. Next turn we have guaranteed game. I did not get a single one of those right. And now I have 863 life points left. Son of a bitch. Yep, that was a good... That AI is actually not as bad as you'd think. Alright, well, that was pretty good from her. But at the same time, I did get what I needed. You wouldn't go aggressive against me, would you? That might be a little foolish. Yeah, I didn't think so. They just, you know, they knew they were going to flip, so... AI reacted the way AI reacts. And that is the end of the duel. I'm afraid it's over, folks. I'm going to activate Just Desserts. It's been wanting me to do it. I just never... I thought she'd find a way to get advantage. She never did. I summon my Harpies, brother. Then we're going to uh, flip up our Gravekeeper's Guard. And by doing this, we can win the duel. Gravekeeper's Guard was such a good pull, I have to say. Getting this monster was insane. We are just lucky ducklings, aren't we? A thousand damage will be dealt. 1800 damage will be dealt. And the game-winning attack is about to come forward. 2200. Now, surely I'll get this one right. I did not get a single one right. 432 life points remain, but a victory is a victory. Do I get a bonus for having, like, no life points left? Because that's pretty low. 88, 60, no bonus. Okay. I'd hope for more, but it's fine. Why? You didn't have to try so hard. I mean, I did use Jirai Gumo. That is a little rude. I apologize. Uh, hello, random boy. What's your name again? Hey, check out my collection. Pretty cool, isn't it? But that ain't half of it. Oh, yeah, you're the backpack kid. And you, ma'am? Oh, you're also a duelist? Why don't you try dueling against me? Why not? That might be fun. Yeah, let's see what you got, lady. I got paper. Yay, I finally won. We do not have to go second, which means we will take advantage of the duel. We will be unstoppable with our Blast Sphere. Last Sphere is a pretty strong start, all things considered. Ooh, I like this start. I like this start. I can fuse. I just need any of my fusion materials. Dudes, this is going to be awesome. Wish me luck. Once I get a fusion material, I'm going to do it. Don't you tr trust me on that. Oh my god, you're going to make me... You knew it was going to be a waste. Oh my god, the AI would never attack with such a weak monster. Unless it knew it was the right play. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I could giant true nade to get my card back just to not waste it, but I'm okay with it being wasted. Let me just summon my, my Dark Fire Soldier. We're going to do the burn from Blast Sphere. I don't need to reset it. I'm fine with it. 
It's a little burn. We'll take it. Two traps. Now I wish I had seven tools. Seven tools would help. Sangan can help. Ooh, that's good. In case they have a very dangerous trap, we'll go with Sangan. Yep, they did. Okay, totally worth it. You guys ready for a cool play? Watch this shit. You guys ready to see something awesome? All right, I don't own a thousand dragon, but I do own... I already shot, saw the monster I want to use. I'm just checking. Just checking. I do own one of the greatest fusion monsters ever conceived. I'm going to go ahead and get my dream clown. And with it, we can summon the strongest card in my deck. Okay, that was just to make sure they didn't have magic jammer. I got fusion gate. And with fusion gate, I can summon a special summon. I know we rarely special summon in this game. But with our fusion summon, we get one dream clown, one Verzago, and create the mighty Bickery Box. A card with a power that rivals Gaia the Fierce Knight. Yes, that's impressive in my mind. <laughs> the strongest cloud clown card has risen. And now we're going to go ahead and set up a trap hole, end our turn, and hope to God we can get some more damage down. Someone just randomly entered my room and robbed me of my cat. <laughs> bye bye You took my cat away. We're going to go ahead and do some piercing damage. It's been time. Uh, we've been waiting to use our spear dragon, and the time has come. Spear Dragon is going to rip apart our opponent. No! Bickery Box! It's the man-eater bug! It's going to eat my man! My clowny man! Oh, damn it. Alright, well, it, it happens, guys. It happens. Sometimes your favorite monster dies. But the good news is, even though we lost our monster, we have Trap Hole to protect us from our opponent. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, we're falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Losing Bickery Box is actually one of the biggest things that could have happened to us now. That man or bug mattered. Ooh, crap, I need a card to get me out of this. Jirai Gumo, always there when I need you. Gear Free can obviously take, him, take care of him, but I was just scared because it's like, oh, damn, he's got a Gear Free uh, Battle Ox. That's a pretty good card back in the day. And it can even fuse using my Fusion Gate, so I got to be careful. Alright, I did 100 damage to my opponent. Now we're just going to end our turn, and next turn I'm going to try and go for game. But I will need an equip spell to do it. Sacred Crane is probably safer. Yeah, let's just go with the Crane. The only reason I'd need Jirai is if they had a 2k defender, and I haven't really seen much defense from this opponent. She doesn't seem to run defense. I was right. Which means next turn, we are guaranteed game. The only way she can come back is a dark hole. It was annoying when they defeated our freaking bickery box, but they haven't been able to defeat me. Hell, they haven't even damaged me. Alright, this will be for game. I draw. The Dark Elf. An amazing card that I probably won't need. I'm probably just going to go for basic attacks. I'll let Gearfried be the opener. Let him attack this monster. Oh, that's actually an okay card. I used it back in the day. And Sacred Crane, here we go. With Sacred Crane, we will end the duel, folks. We have won. 80, 71, 80. We destroyed a lot of monsters, so we actually got a decent amount of money from that, which means it's pack time. Oh, I lost, but that was a good duel. I'll duel you again sometime. We definitely will. Until there's more characters in the game, you're kind of the only people I can duel. Alright, what do we want to buy today? We have $1,900, so we can almost buy a starter deck, but as you can see, they've all been bought out. Yeah, the shop changes constantly because people are constantly buying packs and cards. In fact, the limited some of these cards are going to run out because of the cards being bought. Let's get a little more Spellcaster. Let's get a little Dragon. A little bit of you. Uh, light Collection's pretty good. I'll get two of the light. Oh, we already spent 800 bucks. Okay, one dark and that's it. These are the packs we're getting today. So, let's go. It's not going to be as many cards today, so I'm sorry if that's not exciting for you guys, but let's see. Lady of Faith, Dark Elf again. Dark Elf is good. I can add more. Alright, Dragon-wise. Serpent Nitro! Red Eyes Black Dragon! Yo! That's awesome! Kuwagata Alpha. Skullbug! Yeah, Skullmark Ladybug is usable. That's pretty good. 
Uh, light pack. Let's see. Dunamis. Yeah. Unhappy maidens use Z Metal Tay. Aaronite Parshad. Sayariu. Oh my god. Dice Jar. Blue Eyes Tune Dread. We got a Tune card. Dude, that was a really good pack. Light pack was great. What else? Dark pack. Sukiyomi. Temple of Skulls. Labyrinth Tank. Mask of Darkness. Giant Oak, which is actually Orc. Uh, Giant Orc is good. Labyrinth Tank is usable. Mask of Darkness, always usable. Tsukiyomi's busted. So, that's a really good pull. Yeah, no, really good pack day. Holy crap, this game I'm always like, oh, we're not going to have a good pack day because we can never buy that many packs. No, today was legitimately a good pack day. I got a Red Eyes Black Dragon. I got some of the best meter monsters there are. And we got some really good cards in general. So, I guess that'll be it. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.